Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an Electrovire list. Um, now, uh, some caveats here, or just got to explain some things. First of all, uh, thank you for sticking around. It's been three weeks since we last uploaded a video. Uh, the holiday season hits, and we're not doing the tournament anymore, and we're kind of waiting for new decks to come out, and new cards to come out, and a whole lot of other stuff. So uh, U150 is kind of in a lull right now, but give it a month or two, and then it'll spark back up for sure. Um, thing number two is that over the holiday break, we had actually two people uh, request for an Electivire list, and... Uh, because there's not very many fans of uh, the U150, uh, two people is a lot, and especially two people that didn't talk to each other, that both independently stood up and was just like, hey, how about an Electivire list? And we were like, all right, we got to oblige. So that's where this comes from. So with all that being said, though, Electivire, unfortunately, is actually kind of lackluster. There aren't very many cards that you can realistically abuse. Uh, when we first thought of this idea, we looked at Electivire level X here, and we, we said, hey, sh uh, Pulse Barrier, that sounds really, really good because you could like try to abuse it with the Flare Tools or whatever. But because of the wording with Flare Tools and the wording of Pulse Barrier, the Flare Tools won't get discredited by ba Pulse Barrier, and it doesn't work. So you can't actually just, there's no way to abuse this over and over again. So the level X wasn't going to work. Uh, then we looked at some other stuff, you know, motor drive and discharge, like this in itself is not bad, but you got to flip a lot of coins, not the world's best. Uh, Giga Impact 170 for no drawback, for just like a little bit of a drawback, it's not the worst, not a non-EX. Um, the other idea that we did think of was the Tag Team Spark. It does 20 plus 20 for each uh, energy attached to your Meg Mortar, so basically you're just going to try to loop this and attach a whole lot of energy to your Meg Mortars, uh, something that would work better in this format than it would in Standard or Expanded, however, uh, because you have stuff like... Um, uh, Embor and a lot of a lot more energy in your deck and that sort of thing, um, but again, I think that that's just a little bit lackluster. Um, there could be a deck built like that, but at that point, you might as well just be building some other fire deck. Uh, so what we did settle on was the Electric Fire from Triumphant. Um, Thundershot being able to spread 50, we all know that spreads a very good uh, effect in U150, and it's becoming much more prominent. And the counters are going up for it, so uh, it is kind of scary to start introducing a new spread concept in, but we think this Electrovire is the best route. Uh, just a side note, the Electrovire from Boundaries Crossed, 30 each of your opponent's Pokemon, uh, only bench Pokemon actually, um, this is a hollow rare, so it's an EX, so that's why we're not going to choose to play it, we're only going to play this Electrovire, and we're actually playing the, <coughs> excuse me, we're playing the, um, this Electrovire as well from Secret Wonders, so that we can swoop into it to help charge up Thundershot a little bit easier, plus this is like the only way we have one-shotting. Um, so the idea is we're going to try to spread their energy down to some of their bench Pokemon uh, using effects such as Power Hand Extension and uh, Amber Palm um, and that sort of thing to move those energies down. Thundershot spread 50 to everything and then finish it off with a Cocoa Flip or if it's already weakened with a Cocoa Flip, uh, Thundershot can take some prizes. Uh, we also tucked in a Spirit Tomb to help uh, move that damage around a little bit. But uh, that's just kind of how we're going. We, we anticipated, I literally just got off the call with Grady and we anticipated that uh, you're probably only going to Thundershot once or twice a game. You're really going to Cocoa stuff just to weaken it up. You're going to use Ambipom, Power Hand Extension. You're going to fall behind and try to put all their energy in places where they don't want it and that sort of thing. So uh, take a look at the list here. Whoa, hello. Uh, before it gets weird looking, um, the Double Magma is a counter energy. We, I mean, they still haven't updated Lackey yet. So this is a counter energy. That's the only proxy we have in here. Um, if you notice, here's our 2-2 Electivire line. We are still playing the level X as our only counter to Neuvern Garb because uh, they would have to get a round Pulse Barrier a whole bunch of times in a row, uh, and you're just going to start discarding their tool cards because they have to attach tool cards every turn. So um, that's why we still play the level X as a counter to that. Uh, but the one weird card here that you'll see that I haven't mentioned yet is this Tentacruel. Uh, so to discard, opponents discard for two energies and attach them to your opponent's Pokemon any way you like, and it does 20 damage. So this is great because you can put 20 damage on each of their Porygons or their support Pokemon, which puts it down to 50 HP, and then you can sweep it with Thundershot later in the game. You just kind of have to hope they never heal off that damage. Uh, we're playing Crobat as well to make uh, to when you'd use Tentacle Strike and Flash Bite, it'll put a clay doll down to 50 HP, so you can sweep it with Thundershot later in the game. Uh, like I said, we are playing the Amapon for movement. Uh, we have this Spirit Tomb in here for damage play, and outside of that, it is the uh, we're also playing sorry the uh, e Electric for acceleration as well because we are playing a Lightning deck, and I think if you're playing a Lightning deck, you should probably play e Electric. The only, uh, there was two other cards that we considered. We did consider playing a Dustnor instead of the Spirit Tomb, but the Spirit Tomb is just less cards overall. Um, plus it can be, damage play can be charged up in one swoop with, um, 
uh, counter energy when you're behind. So I feel like Spiritomb, it, it, you have an argument between Spiritomb and Duskenor, but everyone's going to have that argument. So, But with, I think Spiritomb might be just a little bit better in this one. Um, uh, and then the other card that we considered was uh, Slowking. The Slowking from Breakpoint with Royal Flash. You flip a coin of heads, move a energy from their active to one of their benched. Um, and it's a cool bench sitter. It's an EX, unfortunately, but uh, it does do what we want to do, where we're moving, instead of using tail code and power, we're using an ability to move it down. I think that ability is very, very good. Bench base and other sort of things kind of limit it, so I think you're kind of just really leaning on that POW hand extension and early game tail codes to get the energy spread to where you need to. This deck is definitely not that great. It's the best that we could have possibly done with the Electivirus that we were given. Um, so just keep that in mind that this deck's not even in the upper half of a tier list, I would say. Um, just there's a lot of decks that just do this concept better, you know? It's a spread deck, right? But it's a spread deck with a lot of conditions. Like you have to have energy everywhere. You have to get three energies on the Electrovire and uh, all this other stuff. So you're just playing a very, very weakened version of spread is what you're doing. Um, um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else I should really go over the list. The rest of it is just consistency and extra cards and whatnot. Uh, we are playing the Swoop Teleporter so that we can swoop the Motor Drive away. Oh, sorry, Surprise Time Machine. So you can Surprise Time Machine the Motor Drive away for the um, Triumphant one. Playing Power Hand Extension so you can move those energies down. Uh, Diva Sprays for the Porygon Z. We're playing the uh, Mr. Mister Fuji uh, for all your bench sitters and uh, Crobat G. Uh, Secret Mission for... Uh, Extra uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, support, draw support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. And then Potown as well for that extra spread, sort of, um, uh, just extra spread. Period. So, uh, yeah, uh, we kind of rushed to make this list a little bit. We didn't put too much thought into it, just because we're just like, wow, this deck just seems not great. Um, <laughs> so sorry about that. But if you have any questions about Electivire, please let us know. If not, hopefully we'll come out with another video sometime soon. Uh, the Poke Beach article is done. Just waiting to get it edited and posted. It should be up sometime shortly. So there's all your updates. Hope you guys had a great holiday season. And we will see you next time.